Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, network theorems. So discussing about intelligence theorem. So far we have discussed some questions. This is the fifth question related to it. So here we have this circuit. Again, we have to uh, verify intelligence theorem and there is an extra part here which is to find this voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor. Okay, so let us do it. So we'll be using again the nodal analysis process, this uh, technique to find out the branch currents and then we'll find out the power supplied and power absorbed by the various elements. So redrawing the circuit. Three ohm, five ohm, eight ampere. This is forty volt. So let us assign current directions as per our choice. Let's say this current is I one. Uh, this current is I two. This is the voltage drop. This is eight ampere. So let's say this node voltage here this is V okay this is V so applying KCL at that particular node I1 is moving towards the node this node 8 ampere is flowing towards the node so I1 plus 8 is equal to I2 which is flowing away from the node so again we have to represent them in terms of the voltage and resistances so i1 is simply 40 minus v by 5 then plus 8 is equal to i2 is v minus ground 0 volt by total resistance is 3 plus 2 that is 5 ohm so V by 5 okay now <clears throat> this is equal to that implies 40 by 5 minus V by 5 plus 8 is equal to V by 5 that implies 8 plus 8 is equal to 2 into V by 5 that implies 16 equals to 2 V by 5 that implies V by 5 is equal to 16 by 2 that is 8 that implies the node voltage V is equal to 8 into 5 which is 40 volts so we have determined the node voltage now the interesting thing this node voltage is equal to 40 volt so the branch currents now we have to determine i1 is 40 minus v by 5 so pay attention here v is equal to 40 volt so 40 minus 40 by 5 which is 0 so I1 is equal to 0 ampere then we have I2 I2 is V by 5 which is 40 by 5 it's 40 by 5 which is equal to 8 ampere so I1 is equal to 0 ampere, I2 is equal to 8 ampere. Okay. Now 
I2 is equal to 8 ampere. It is flowing through the 2 ohm resistor with this polarity plus minus because current always flows from positive to negative because resistor always absorbs power. Okay, here I2 is flowing in this direction. Polarity is like this positive to negative then that means the resistor is absorbing power and this voltage drop is equal to 8 ampere into 2 ohm which is 16 volt so V0 is equal to 16 volt that part is over now we have to find the we have to verify intelligence theorem so for that we have to find out the power supplied and absorbed by the various circuit elements so now first for this voltage source 40 volt versus so voltage source so here i1 is equal to 0 ampere so the power involved with this 40 volt voltage source is simply 0 watt because i1 is equal to 0 so it will be 40 into 0 which is equal to 0 watt it is neither supplying or absorbing power power dissipated or absorbed by the 5 ohm resistor is also zero why because i1 is zero no current is flowing through it so that is also zero watt because i1 is equal to zero ampere then we have this 8 ampere now see the voltage across this uh, 8 ampere current source is v which is equal to 40 volts so current is flowing here let us take it here current is flowing 8 ampere here from this voltage of 40 volt like this current is flowing away from the positive terminal and towards the negative terminal it means it is supplying power and that power supplied by this 8 ampere current source is equal to 40 voltage into current that is 40 into 8 320 watts okay now it is positive because it is supplying then the power absorbed by the 3 ohm resistor and the power absorbed by the 2 ohm resistor they will be negative so for the 3 ohm resistor it is minus i square r that is minus 8 square into 3 okay which is equal to let us calculate 64 into 3 okay 64 into 3 is 192 I think yes 192 okay minus 192 watts then power dissipated by the 2 ohm resistor again minus I square R same current is flowing into 2 that is minus 64 uh, into 2 which is minus 128 watts okay so these are the power uh, supplied and absorbed related to the circuit elements 40 volt 0 watt 5 ohm 0 watt then 8 ampere current source that is 320 watt 3 ohm minus 192 watt and 2 ohm minus 128 watt so the total power involved in this circuit is 0 watt plus 0 watt plus 320 watt minus 192 watt minus 128 watt which is 320 watts minus 320 watts which is equal to 0 watt so the net power supplied and absorbed they are cancelling each other out so the summation of the powers in a circuit a network that is 0 here so intelligence theorem is verified 
for this circuit okay so here is another question for which we have verified the intelligence theorem and an extra part was there to find out the voltage drop okay so we did that also so this is the fifth question